Zero. I mean, I... <laughs> that's so weird. What's going on, guys? It's SEL 0320. That was Papa Eats Boy, Joe Johnson 030. Alicia, no numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Representing JBS, we're back again for another review for Black Lightning, episode 9, The Book of Little Black Lies. What do we think, guys? It was great. Yeah. Even though, oh. once again, they made up for it at the end, but the first 30 minutes or so, I was just like, why they treat Jennifer like that? Why they don't want to talk to her? But then they made up for it in the end. So I respect that. And your boy Gamby, Gamby is, like I said, Inspector Gadget 2.0. Like, Gamby can find some things. He got secret drugs and little cameras on strings. Gamby ain't playing out here in these streets. He's, not. He's spry. He's spry for old man. Like, like, he, go, he goes hard in the paint. For real. I definitely, I like him again. Like, I, I understand he did bad things, but I like him again. So that me. was good. I think like most of this episode, I felt like this level of like worry, like that something was gonna happen to either the cop yeah. or the Gamby, one or the other, but more so the cop because the cop was kind of put underneath the cut when Jefferson was like, "Look, you, you know your group is dirty. What are you gonna do about it?" When he said something like along the lines of like, "Look, I need you to do something for me. I'm gonna do this, but." If I don't make it back and I die, tell my wife make sure to tell my that family I, that I was not dirty. And I was just like, I ain't really about to kill this cop right now. <laughs> like, I, like, no. I wouldn't put it past the, the show for that to happen. Like, I was real surprised he actually, well, I don't spoil it. I was surprised how it ended, let's just say that. And I'm interested in, where does the new, like, crazy psychotic Lala, how does he fit back into all of this? Because Lala wasn't in this episode at all. I, I get how Tobias fits. But how does the psychotic Lala fit? Like, because now we know that Lala is back and crazy. Mm -hmm. What does it look like when he's back in the mix? Like, what is he going to do? Yeah, there was something in the previews, right, Joe? Where they showed, like, Lala. When they, because basically the kids that they had, you know, had powers, they had been taking them. And you saw it in this episode, like, one of the kids that even Gamby had, mm -hmm. you know, scoped out. His body was just sitting there in the tank. And so it might have something to do with that in connection, but there's a lot. I mean, it's a lot that you just don't know. We still don't even know. No, we still putting the pieces who together. is the main bad person, and I don't even think Jill Scott's character is all the way dead, honestly. So I, I hope not. Bring Jilly back. I mean, she might got better, bigger, and better things Jilly going on. Back. I don't know. Please. But the soundtrack was dope. Soundtrack's always fire. The ghetto. Mm -hmm. What'd you think, Joe? Oh uh, man, it was another episode. They did not disappoint. I like how the writers are telling the story because they leave you with enough danger where danger you know, like light and um, care about the characters and the potential of them, you know, being killed off is still there. Yeah, but it's like I like how they don't like just go ahead and just radically like roll the dice on all these characters. Like, oh yeah, this character's gonna die. This yeah. I mean, tragic things happen to these characters. Uh, like, what's your boy? What's the boy's name? Um, uh, his name sorry to see. Curtis. Nah. The boyfriend. The high school. Khalil. 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 Yeah, like Khalil. That was a tragedy. Um, so characters are definitely in the line of fire in this show. Yeah. But I like how it's just enough to where it's like, okay, I like this episode. I feel like if this story was in the hands of different writing uh, group or mm -hmm. like different writing cast, I feel like, you know, characters would make stupid decisions. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and it's like, hey, like, oh, someone found out he's black lightning or whatever. I like how the characters are making rational decisions. For yeah. the most part. You know, for the mo from what they, from yeah, what yeah. they know. From who, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they're making rational decisions and, um, you know, they're just trying to make a difference, man. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. I got a prediction based on what you was talking about for, for your boy Khalil. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Khalil gonna be the villain for season two. Wait, what? Khalil gonna be the main villain for season two. Well, that's gonna provoke that's Jennifer to actually do something about it and be a hero. Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't want to be a hero. Because we know that Khalil is sitting in the back getting Tobias' feet and info. We know that that's happening. Yeah. We know that Tobias is about to get him ready mm -hmm. to be bad. Yeah. And powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like. Season two, 
Khalil about to be the villain, and it's gonna make it's gonna it's gonna make Jennifer get her life together. You know, it would be crazy if she had like super speed or something crazy like that. <laughs> like that would be some crazy. Be the like have like a like Zoom status. The but but nah. So I mean, the only thing I had a problem with this episode is that two different things. The very beginning with Lynn and Jefferson, the way they treated Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer is always just like. Pushed to the side, and no, I was kind of like, just give her a hug. their central focus was so much on like, well, we need to go do this, and like, and this was like, we need to go do that, and I'm like, yo, y'all got a daughter and a sister upstairs that really needs you now. Like, from a priority standpoint, it just doesn't make any rational sense. Well, that, I feel like that's a good point. That's a good point. I, yeah, that, <laughs> because yeah. it's like Jefferson consistently is just on this like mission, and I, I, I question what is your mission at this point. I like, feel like at this point he don't know the mission, but now that he knows that his father was killed behind this, like he always knew it. But now that he knows, like his father was killed, in this direct connection to Greenlight. Yeah, I feel like he is just like he kind of on that. You know how like how the Punisher, like he was like I'm mad about this, and he just went for it. Yeah, like I feel like it's that kind of I don't know who did it, but I'm gonna find out and shut him down. Yeah, but I mean I. I feel like there is a confliction there because it's like when I think about Batman and Robin, like it's kind of father son thing, and this like Robin was definitely trained, but it's like it's a deeper thing with Anissa and her dad. Like I don't really see him regarding her safety based on his motivational stance. Like there's certain things that motivationally in this episode, I was like, if I was a dad, I don't think I'd put her in that situation. Like I just from a responsibility standpoint as a dad and a superhero. There's certain things that I just wouldn't have her doing right now. But, and, I, but uh, I get you, but I feel like from what we got from last episode was that Jefferson had to learn that this could take care of herself. I mean, and she can. She so can. I, think, I think because she of... She did save his life. I, yeah, something. I like, think because of last episode, it kind of put him more at ease to, you know, trust her to, like, be like, you got my back because, you know, she's had it before. Yeah. So I yeah. think maybe that's what it is at this point. He feels a little more comfortable with her being there. And it's like, I think he also knows that if he's worried about her, there's no. If, if he's worried about her, that's the process. He can't be he, able to. He gonna her. get both of them killed, so he yeah. has to kind of trust that, you know, her abilities is gonna work for themselves. Yeah. True. So yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying, but I think like the episode before kind of sets you up for him kind of like falling back some and just let her do her and trusting that she got it. But to your point, I do think he was a little lackadaisical with his own safety this episode. I'm just like, bruh. Well, it's like, not even just this episode. Like, since he found out that Tobias was alive, I feel like yeah, his yeah. regard for no, no, conscious think, reasoning has not been there as a hero. Because I feel like I feel like what he has now that I don't think he necessarily had at the beginning of the season <clears throat> was rage. Like, I feel like this season he is in rage. Like, not, not this season, but at this point in the season, it's like it's rage there. Like, now he, it's like the rage keeps building. Like, he knew Tobias was back. Tobias killed his dad. Rage. And now he knows his dad was killed in, because of Tobias in connection to Greenlight. Yeah. More rage. Like, the rage is starting to build. And I feel like for him, it's a dangerous thing because rage will make you sloppy. And you can't afford to do that and you got a whole family. So, and that's that's the thing. Like, at out. what point is it that Nissa's going to tell him, well, no, that's not a good idea. Because she just she's ready to be a hero. Yeah, say, I don't Anissa, think she'll say that. The streets. mom will say some. Jennifer might. I just don't think Anissa would. And it's like, now she's kind of like, man, I got a fan base, too. But either way, it was a good episode. It was just those two things I didn't like. I worried about oh as far as Jefferson. And it's kind of just like, not that it's a stupid decision. It's more realistic, for sure. Yeah, but it's like, emotions get involved. But it's like... Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this review. We're going to be back next week. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. Y'all have a blessed night. Aye. Peace, guys. Check us out. Oh, snap.